Hello Virgos, welcome to your December 2021 general reading. So, you are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share the video. And um, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So, this video while I don't think it will be super long, will be loosely divided into three sections, three areas. Um, and these areas are firstly the overall energy. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of December for the star sign of Virgo. Before we then go into your emotions, that could be the time when the guides talk about um, trauma or pain that still sits somewhere and has to go. Or maybe they talk about love and what's going on there. Um, we'll have to wait and see. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities. And opportunities are oftentimes, or most of the time at least, um, really about opportunities that come your way, that are either already manifesting or that need a little push. But it's oftentimes also, um, especially about um, whatever sustains you financially or maybe how to get there, if that makes sense. Right here, Virgo, your governing planet is Mercury which is obviously the month of communication, <coughs> but it's part of the communication, obviously. Mercury is the planet that whose energy helps you with grammar um, and grammatical stuff. So it oftentimes comes to the eight as a star sign of people who, who suffer. I suffer is the wrong word, but Possibly, yes, at least being bullied um, when they have some issues with, let's just say, dyslexia or issues writing, muddling up letters, that kind of thing. Um, so the first message that I'm getting is, um, what do you care about to the uh, other people, right? Because Mercury is one of the strongest planets you can have. Remember, virtually all planets go into retrograde. Um, the reason why the sun and the moon are not going to retrograde is because they're not planets. We just call them planets for convenience. They're, they're, they're mere luminaries, even though they are super important for our solar system and our life here, but they're not planets. Point is, all planets go into retrograde. And the, the one planet whose retrogradation affects us massively is the planet that governs your sign Mercury. Which, when you then look at it from the strengths point of view, you possess all that strengths. My, my, my biggest feeling here is, and we're not even going into the, <laughs> into the cards yet, but that's how it works. I have guides that just talk, and then there's guides attached to these decks. That's why sometimes I don't even use cards. Point is, um, what I'm getting for um, Virgos is to really discard judgment of others, right? They should all just look at their life and keep their noses out of yours, right? So, here we go. Nonetheless, let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of December. This is for the star sign Virgo. You're also presented, or represented at least, by the maiden, which means you are very fair, um, star sign and the fair star sign sometimes people try to take advantage of it right because not not all the time will your kindness be repaid right so again the guys are just talking still haven't looked into one of these cards let's do that now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of december 2021 and here's a real wowzer i mean this is just bloody amazing you have the horse as your incoming energy. You have the panther as the outgoing energy. Now these cards and these animals, we call them animal deities. Your middle card, which is the most important because it's surrounded by two others, therefore the energy is amplified, so the one in the middle becomes the strongest card, the strongest energy, and you have plural, all animal deities you could ever want and need are in the middle. So, what the guides are saying to you is, and you heard this sort of introduction without the cards where the guides are already hinting at, at people being judgmental, 
The horse is the animal that tells you what you need every now and then is literally freedom. That doesn't mean running away or walking away, but freeing yourself up from the energy of others. And this is your incoming energy for the month of December. Obviously it's December, so very likely it's going to be a very busy month with all the festivities. And they're not asking you to lock yourself away and miss Christmas entirely. <coughs> but what they're saying is if you feel that there's areas where you need to get your strength back, then the only way to go about it is to say like, I need some me time to recharge my battery. And this is your incoming energy or your ingoing energy, which means that's the energy that you ought to have right from the get-go of the month of December so that things get easier as you go along. Ultimately, in the middle, the most important one is you have all the animal deities that you could ever need to call upon for your for help um, with your journey they're all there already so this for Virgos seems to be a month where a lot of wisdom will come to you so this could be a month where your spirituality really gets a boost where you realize wow I'm, I'm capable of so much more than what I what, what I currently live right um, but it is also the energy of, again, realizing that situations that feel difficult, you are not as alone as this feels. Remember, this is a general reading, so it might not uh, resonate with all of you. But they showed me the, just now <coughs> a very strange image. And it may not, like I said, it's a, it's a general reading and sometimes it's just symbolism. But when the guide said you're not as alone as you feel, what they showed me was someone that needed protection from another person that lives with them. And they tried everything under the sun to make that work. And the protection or the help that the guides showed was literally official people. So they showed me solicitors, uh, if that makes sense. So for whoever this is right now, because it seems a bit specific here. Um, if you try to communicate, remember, you're Mercury, you're the, you're the planet of communication. If your communication doesn't work, what chance do we stand, <laughs> right? <coughs> if communication is not getting results, you have the right to escalate this for you to feel happy, right? And when you have all the animal deities there, that is a clear sign that something really needs to shift because some situations or some people within these situations clearly aren't happy campers, right? So your outgoing energy isn't any lighter because you have the panther. Now the panther, panther, can't pronounce CH, panther, is a jaguar in disguise. That's all it is. And so the idea about the Jaguar is that obviously he's, you know, very powerful, right? Um, and he has unique dots. No two Jaguars look alike, right? So the idea in life is to not having, not having to hide who you are, how you feel, be yourself, if that makes sense. Um, and yet the Panther is a Jaguar that hides inside a black skin. Mm, why am I wearing a black shirt? Because it makes me look slim, right? <laughs> Here's what the guides are saying to you. Is your outgoing energy is still the energy of hiding. And all they're saying is, that's something that you have done for a long time. And hiding doesn't mean you hide yourself. But you probably have either lost soul parts. So you might be a person that has been through the ringer and has been around the block um, here. And so you have learned to not share everything any longer and so what the guides are saying to you is while the panther is about darkness um it's also about magic right so all the guides are saying is as you call upon all the animal guides that are there to to uh, facilitate big changes eventually you owe it to yourself to unhide yourself if that makes sense, right? That's the overall energy, bloody hell, <laughs> right? So now we're looking at um, emotions. 
let's see what we got for your emotional core and what the guy have got to say for that. This is for the star sign of Virgo. <clears throat> you got the polar bear, the parrot, parrot in the middle and the crocodile is the outgoing energy. With regards to your emotions, and it has, it actually resonates totally with the fact that the guides talked before I had a chance to even look at the cards and when they were saying about judgment, it's all in your emotional core this month. This month you will realize how harmful judgment can be and actually is. And it is one thing when people advise you, they very likely advise you from their point of view and just because they can't see um, that you could achieve something that their lazy ass never will, right? doesn't mean they have the right to, to tell you what you can and cannot do, right? There's always that saying, um, you know, you can't do this, watch me. That's the energy I'm getting for you to have, right? So Virgos, you're not uh, a super aggressive star sign, which is a good thing. So when you then feel, you know, an army is coming over the mountain, <clears throat> what the guides are saying is that's what, 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 what your spirituality is for. That's what your intuition is for. You have avenues that you can explore. Ultimately, here's what they have for your emotions. Your incoming energy is the polar bear. The one in the middle is the parrot. And the outgoing energy is the crocodile. Put this all together, that's what this means. The polar bear is your incoming energy with regards to looking at your emotions. And the polar bear of all bears is the most vulnerable and bears stand for healing so this month it is important for you to allow yourself to heal and the parrot in the middle is the animal that has two messages number one you've heard it all before and nothing ever changes so pay attention to empty and hollow words and empty promises and we literally put a stop to them. The other thing is again, the parrot is a judgment card right in the middle of your emotions because parrots used to be um, ground dwelling animals and there are still um, parrots in Madagascar that can't fly, never could. <coughs> and as habitat changed thousands of years ago, they had to find a way to adapt. So for them, that meant that the bones became hollow if that makes sense so they became feathers right and um so that they could take flight interestingly enough is that many parrots of old were much larger and so for them to take flight they had to literally find a way and it probably took thousands of years or a couple of thousand years they would they could they needed to find a way to get airborne and therefore find a way to shrink evolution is bloody awesome because while this is a fact, an evolutionary fact, that um, people who, who study ornithology know about, right? That the parrot has to, had to change features to survive. Um, obviously, they became smaller, so also the, the brain shrunk. And yet, the parrot, and it's not because he can mimic um, voices, is a super intelligent bird still. So. Don't let people, to, to use a, a phrase that comes from the analogy here, don't allow people to make you smaller, right? You don't have to feel small because even if you are feeling smaller, you got this. You're super intelligent. You find other ways to make your mark in the world because your outgoing energy is the crocodile. And the crocodile obviously has a really bad rep, right? You talk to people about crocodiles, nobody seems to like them. But that's because what a lot of media does, they highlight them in a really bad picture. And it obviously gets more ratings when there is crocodiles in the water and the, the wildebeest have to cross from, from um, one shore to the other and they have to go into the water and then the crocodiles come and, and, and kill them. Apparently that's much more exciting uh, for ratings. What the crocodile is revered for, especially in, in Native American uh, um, circles, 
is for the fact that the crocodile can take up to nine youngsters into the pouch of his mouth and bring them to safety. Right? So you are a person that shows kindness to many people. You also are a person that makes sure that other people have a fighting chance or even more to make it in this world. You are a very, very caring star sign. And some people will never see it because people look at a crocodile and it's just not fluffy. So they think it's ugly, ugly and never give it a chance, right? And it's all literally conditioning, right? And one of the hardest things <coughs> and one of the most important things for people who are spiritual is to realize that conditioning can alter your life and we uncondition ourselves by looking at other healing modalities, especially older stuff, and what is really the truth here? So that's your outgoing energy with regards to your emotions, um, is to realize how awesome and how caring you are, um, regardless of the judgment that may come to you this month. Well, the feeling is <coughs> that it is just a very judgmental month. Luckily, this is a general reading. It might not necessarily affect you. Um, but it's in the overall energy for Virgos. So... Um, it is probably something that needs to be taken into account. Finally, let's go into opportunities. Let's see what comes your way. In the month of December 2021, you are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share the video a lot because that will help me grow the channel. Um, and if you like my work, just buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Let's have a look. Final part of the reading at your guidance for <coughs> opportunities. Well, and they're all good. You have the shaman of birth, the dancer of beginnings, and the ancestor of knowing. Ha! Huh. What that means is the dancer of beginnings is the one in the middle, so that's the one we pay the most attention to. Your incoming energy is the, sh incoming energy is the shaman of birth. And what that means is you need to birth something. They're not talking here about things having to end first before you can move on. When you have the shaman of birth, it means that your thoughts have to be about what it is you really want to achieve in life. And then that eventually gives birth to opportunities that come to you because you manifest them, right? So ultimately, <clears throat> <clears throat> Cut a long story short, what the guides are asking you to do and to realize is the more you believe in yourself, the more you don't doubt yourself, the easier it is for you to manifest a better life or a new beginning. And so this is all <laughs> up to you, if that makes sense, because your, your animal in the middle, the one that is the most important or the energy that's in the middle, is the dancer of beginnings. Now, dancing oftentimes means pussyfooting. I'm moving, but I'm not really. But what the guides are saying is, there already are beginnings in the center of your opportunities. So what's with the pussyfooting, right? Stop being afraid, right? Stop being held back, right? If you really wanted to do that step, then make that step. It doesn't matter if people behind you or people who live you live with say to you like, that's all rubbish, you're never gonna la la la, right? What I'm getting for you is to follow your intuition. They're not asking you to follow what the guides say because I only work here. As far as I'm concerned, whatever they say, I say, right? <coughs> and, but it's not about that. It's about trusting your intuition because that's what you really have going for you, right? And uh, that's what the guides are saying to you is don't, don't pussyfoot longer and don't try to weigh things up. Right? Because that doesn't quite work. And then you have the ancestor of knowing as your outgoing energy, which means once you entertain the idea, yeah, I can do different things, right? And that could be a, a, an op a door opener uh, for other situations. Then you have the ancestor of knowing, where you will say to yourself, I have no idea why I doubted myself for that long. That was silly to be trapped for that long. And even if the new beginning that you're trying to manifest may not last because one door closes, and let's just say the next door 
is a one that is constantly needs oiling, right? Um, there will be other doors. It is the nature of life to continue. It is also the nature of the universe and the nature of your guides and your imprint. Look at your birth chart. <coughs> For you to experience and to accumulate things and ultimately to stay alive, because the more positive you are, um, the more positivity you attract. So nothing here in this energy suggests that there's anything to fear other than you being stumped and and you holding yourself back. Not worth it. Right? Anyway, guys and guys, um, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. I see you all in the new year. Right? Please like, subscribe and share. Share the crap out of this video. It's a monthly video, so it makes sense for you to share this numerous times throughout December because the more people we can reach, the more people <coughs> get guidance. Right? Okie dokie. That's all I got for you. See you soon. Bye-bye.